everybody and welcome back to ASN Art. Today we're going to be doing something different with stones, a variation on painting, so come and join us for that today. So the first thing you need to do is to find a stone. Now lots of stones, this is quite a large one, a flatter one, a rounder one. Make sure when you choose your stone it's quite smooth for the tissue paper to adhere to or stick to and make sure you give them a good clean. Next, we need some pieces of tissue paper, just whatever you might have around the house. If you find any colourful pieces, that would be great. You might want to chop the tissue paper into square or rectangle shapes. You may want to get an adult to help you with scissors, or you could just take the paper and tear it. And Charlie has got some water in a little container and she's going to add quite a bit of glue into it to make a nice solution of glue and water. You need to mix quite well to get it to mix together. So we've chosen a stone and now Charlie is applying the solution of glue and water. Make sure you cover your stone really well and then choose your paper and start to stick it on top. Initially, the colour will disappear, but as you add more and lay it, the colours will get stronger. Okay, creating a little bit of glue on top as we build up the colour. So as the layers of colour build up, Charlie's getting brighter and brighter colours on the stone. You need quite a lot of layers of tissue to get that effect. So if your colours disappear at the beginning, don't worry, the more you put on, So here we have our wonderful colourful finished stone. When the glue dries the colours will be brighter and you might put a layer of just gluey paste over the top to seal it all in for putting in your garden. So if you have some nice tissue paper in the house please make a nice stone covered in your choice of colours and if you can tweet us to let us see the results and you too can have some bright colourful stones to cheer you up in the garden. Thanks everyone, bye.